What's up, dudes? Today's the day. We're gonna take the Yamaha Hopper up the road, guys. We got enough. We got clear road. We're gonna spray some nitrous on it. So before we do that, we got these busted pegs. Check them out. These pegs are busted up pretty good. I'm gonna hit them with the grinder, try and clean them up a little bit. And then if I get that done, I am going to weld it back together so that we can, we don't have to hover our feet. So just put a couple bugs in there all around. That should hold. nitrous so that's heat cycle number two which i just set throttle sticky so i just cracked her about two quarters throttle there two and seven eighths throttle we're going to see what this leak's all about put a little stop leak in there maybe move that seal around with the flathead let this thing cool off time to go test it it still has some nitrous in it i sprayed on her a couple times because you want to break it in how are you gonna run it now come on any predictions guys go ahead and comment this may take a little knock knock bang bang Little knock knock, tap tap, bang bang to get to go back on these pegs. So uh, the leak wasn't from the seal. This oil pump still hooked up, so it's just pumping out of the port that's supposed to go into here. So whenever we run out of nitrous, we'll slap that back on there, make her super rich and run like total shit. I got the pegs on. I concealed a few things here. I put the uh, bolts in there, and these ones, you know, they don't fit. So. A couple zip ties. David, David, David's riding it. He'll never. David won't know the. David won't know the difference. Put this on this side. I didn't need the stop leak because it's just shooting out of the oil pump. Uh, David probably will want to move that. He's he's weird whenever he's riding something to over its capabilities because he's got a fresh big board top end. We should be able to get top speed out of it pretty easy, and then we're gonna pour some nitrous on it. So we made this pet cock the other day working good not a drip but the problem i'm having now is these lines are just a little too big so i'm going to replace this one with a smaller line and hopefully we won't have no more leaks it's gonna be time to send it there david time to send this baby you went over there uh tuning on that bitch uh put a new hose on it because it was leaking and then that pump's pumping oil i thought the seal was leaking but it's the oh, oil injector pump yeah only two of these bolts go in, man, on, on these pegs, so I wouldn't stand up on them. Still start pretty easy. Started very easy today, but yesterday when I tried to run it, it started up easy on the first kick, mm -hmm. and then it wouldn't stay running. I think it's out of gas right now. Because I just switched that. What it was couldn't you get in? The front ones. You put uh, the studs right here. No, I didn't put those in. I was going to say, you put these in right there, and you put the nut on the top. Oh, that's why it's an offset so far. Mm -hmm. You want to do it real quick? So try. It. I don't know. Take a look and see what you think. Look at the holes in the front and see if you think they'll, they'll make the difference. See it on the top? Yeah. yeah. 
How we get it to work? That'll work. Okay, we'll do that. So David didn't want to ride it the way I had done it, so we're putting a couple more bolts in it. If you really feel that much safer, dog, I gotta go to work. What are we I gonna do go with go the what? What are we gonna do with all the spokes? Just we're send them. Good. We're good. Don't worry about that. Good. We're gonna destroy those. My feet just need to stay on. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna follow you on the range ring. Like that. Maybe, yeah. I wonder how much horsepower we're spraying to it for doubling it. Um, we're, that's the ride test. Cause we revved it. It seemed like, first of all, we got to do a couple tests. One thing I want to know for sure is if the, uh, I want to know for sure is if it actually will maintain that speed. So I want you to spray it till it quits accelerating yeah, yeah. and then just see if I it'll, that, I'm and just see if it'll coast. Oh, if that's, yeah. So like get it going, say we get it to 32. Yeah, get then the speed up that high and yeah. just see if it'll keep going. We'll see if it'll maintain it. So what's your prediction on the uphill? Yeah, it ain't gonna carry me. So, no, yeah, it won't top that. <laughs> it's gonna go about 15. I have to hit the nitrous to go uphill. Yeah, so I guess we'll do that too. After you ride it the first time, then we'll make a little nitrous prediction. But you have that app on your phone? Oh, uh, yeah. What's the name of it? Tell I'll, these fools. I'll pull it out in just a second. And you can put it. He's gonna pull it out and show it to you guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on. It's in my underwear. <laughs> pull it out. Whip it out is what you're supposed to say. That way they know to stand back. So guys, mono shock. This is racing technology, the lightest in the class. Mm -hmm. Lightest shock wear. Look at that. One, we ha could have had two, but we said, you know what? David's riding it. Let's go one. Yep. Need that lightweight. You want to make a pipe for it, dude? It wouldn't be hard. If you had one, it would be badass. If you have another small FMF or something laying around, it would be some two stroke. Oh shit, it just got smoked with some ice. Ah. Oh. oh, I thought it had a fatty on it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Do it. Yeah. Instead of work on it. And not have to work on it. So David's convinced we have to pull the pipe in order to get our gains. We're trying to get gains. All the gains. Joanna gains. And the header off of that orange apex, or what was it? Oh, it's a typhoon. Typhoon. Like the one I just got? Open it up, and there's a big ass bead right here. The weld, yeah, and you could barely fit your pinky in it. And I opened it up, and you could. I mean, it was like a one, it was like a 50 cc pipe. They yeah, do that a lot. It was a joke. So, we're gonna open this up a little bit with a step down. We're gonna, I guess, chop the muffler off of it and throw one of these uh, See, foot long FMFs on it. I say we get the one off of that up there. It's just gonna we'll be put it on there, kind of like angle it up and like weld it to the end of that. And then weld it to the How end. much bigger around is that? Close to the same. Why don't we just use the one and quarter inch I have behind the shop? Because I want that silencer. Oh, it has a silencer on it too? Yeah. This for a four stroke. Yeah, but it's small. All right. What do you need but to take it off? It's all the way through. Cut this with the sawzall. I mean, what do you need over there to take off? Sawzall. Oh, you're just going to cut the end off? I just got a couple inches of pop. Gotcha. Behind that one, to where it's easily welded back on. All right. And then you're going to cut this back off today? Yeah. If I want, <laughs> do you think I'm gonna be impressed with this piece of shit? <laughs> like you're gonna love it, dude. Oh my goodness. We're supposed to be doing test hits and David's over here trying to design four stroke exhausts for two strokes. Yeah. Get three, this is gonna be a three stroke. If you take a four stroke and you can put it with a two stroke can, it's gonna be a three stroke. Yep. It's just a stroke short. He said. Oh, it's in the cabinet, it's loaded, careful. Oh, never mind. One it's in the bad. chamber? I, I thought there was. You have to put one. Mm. One of them 18 bolts or something. Ryobi? Yeah, Ryobi. It's on the sides. Look at him. He don't even know how to use a oh, common man's tool. Use the he can't even. You know what, guys? That's how you know he's had it too good using boss man's tools on the oil rig. <laughs> he don't even know how to. Oh, he okay. don't even know how to load up a. He don't even know how to load up a Ryobi. He can't even cock back a Ryobi, dudes. I know, and I about ripped all my stitches. Don't cut my bonnet. Jack off. Just about to butcher my guard. <laughs> no. He already got it with the vice. It don't matter. All right. Here we go, boys. He's going to go get the other piece. He's excited. 
Man, too bad there's no way to, you know what you need to do? Hmm. You need to get us a little piece of something so we can bolt it right here. Yeah. We'll just bend a little piece and we can ditch this and it won't look so bad. Mm -hmm. All right. You got a marker? Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing one though. Should be one right here. Supposed to be. I'm gonna weld it on and then try and clean out the neck up there as much as we can. See if it makes it sound a little better at least. Maybe we can hear the Let's look in the pipe. Does it look clogged at all to you? No, I looked through it before I welded it. Not the muff. Oh, the actual pipe though itself. No, no, no. Should we take a step down to that, or don't even bother with it? Mm -hmm. Don't even bother Could with it. You? I'll open it up a little if you want. So at the very least, we should get a nicer, much cooler sound. Mm -hmm. So we put us a little tab on there. David really made that the ugliest portion. Mm -hmm. And then, and the way, and he's way, way out of line, way out of line. Okay. If you got nitrous, you need you some stop leak, trust me. So we run our test on the gas tank earlier, and this is what you get when you run an old nearly rusty gas tank. If you just throw a filter on it, and think it's gonna be a day. This is what your piston's eating right here. It's a little rust, a little this, a little that, a little metal, a little, a little this. Keep that in mind. That's why I'm backing David up on the, on, I got the Ranger and I'm just gonna stay behind him and if he breaks down, we throw it in the bed. So fresh racing niche piston. So we were doing some pulls on the old table and freaking broke that, I guess. We're gonna delete that. There's a little weight reduction there. Cause you don't want too much in there because it's going to be for racing. You don't want to be just losing. You, you got to be able to get some track. I guess I could use a little in the back car and the front. We're going to put us a little air in these bad boys. You want to hear it with the new motor? Or let's put air in it before we kick start it just so we don't cut a valve stem. Now he's fat boy in it. He's scared to ride this, I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Listen, boys. Oh, yeah. You want to NOS it while you kick it. That's the only way it'll start for some reason. It sounds a lot better. That's gonna be funner to ride. Cool. For sure, that's gonna be way funner to ride. Look at David. He's roofed up, ready to go. Got everything on but his, his strap on. Everything but the wiener. Cha. Oh, still Don't drop it, boy. Okay, Reagan. A little bit. Hold on, boy. Hold on, there, boy. You're a little bit okay? What do you think the scooter, scooter, no nitrous, just scooter? 20, 22, 23 mile an hour. On the uphill or just if, if we had flat ground? I bet it'll hit 30 on the downhill. Yeah, it'll hit like 37. This is the stock, all stock right here. Yeah. You gotta put it on start and then run, bro. You're pointing the camera to me. I know. Bro. If we have to put the muffler on it like that, it was so much quieter. Yeah, it sounds like it's burning, but it's definitely on the pipe harder than it was yesterday. I can still hear. Like... He's going up like 20, dudes. Get <laughs> six, 27. This is uphill. Yeah, I was gonna say this gotta be the uphill. 28, 29. 
three or four. The pipe, I'm afraid, made a huge difference because it was it didn't seem like it was going that fast on the bench, remember? Yeah. <laughs> the cost of doing business they say if you're going to be a racer you can't be worried about how much some nitrous and hookers cost you just got to kind of you know you got to pay whatever the cost of the price is that's just the cost of doing business they call it It's like really hard to kick. <laughs> I think it lost the ring. <laughs> My hands are literally frozen. Dang boys. That's it. We'll see what it was. You can leave it right there, right? Who knows? We'll go back. We'll try and start it with the drill and some starting starting to point two. That's two more miles an hour. Yeah. But it did you could see it pull harder though, right? So like you could definitely jump to speed faster. Oh, and pop the engine. There you go. Just hold on, Bubba. Yeah. David blew her up, guys. I told him. I told him. I was like, you got to know when to when to hit it, when to quit it. But he just fell in love with it. What are you gonna do? Blew her up. I sold that lady a four wheeler a while back. try and start it with starting fluid first well let's go see the aftermath and we'll check the stats on david's phone and uh there isn't anything in the floor and underneath of it maybe it just needs some more stop leak bro i bet it just popped the head gasket or something hard to kick it's got extra curve spun the crank bearing out of it dude it two and a half times the rpm damn well, time to sell her. Fresh top in. Less than a fresh top in, less than an hour on it. What's that? Yeah. Dude, that thing did sound like it was flying, bro. I could tell you didn't want to have to reach over and hit the button one handed. One handed kind of Oh my god. Man, please tires. Please tires. Right. Drive beside you, not behind you, because I knew. Something's gonna come flying out of that. Blow the welds on the intake. Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't believe we just Woo. did that. Grab my starting fluid rig. Uh, Yamaha Hopper. QT50. Now it's a QT. Oh, QT50. 
All right, so this is how we usually fix stuff that locks up around here. No, it ain't gonna work. Give her a kick. Jeez, she's done. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's extra. Got extra compression, bro. Maybe we just fouled the spark plug. Let's take the plug out and put a hole in the piston. Yeah. Checking out this spark plug situation here. It'll punch the shit out of the corner of that. Davis says there's no compression, but. I'm not about to strap off the plug. <laughs> mud. Is that mud on it? Here, come kick her over and all. Oh, are you getting a light? Maybe we had a cold seas, guys, or a dry seas, or a. Maybe it was just a good old dry effing we gave this thing. But. She ain't stuck, and now she feels like she has compression, right? Yeah. So we're gonna try her again and go blow some more nitrous on it. Now, if we get it running, I gotta let Reagan ride it. <laughs> he just wanted to ride it, and then, then we can blow more nitrous on it. He's like, well, it's, dude, that's what he said, it popped. He's like, he killed it! And then like two seconds later, you were coasting behind us, and he's like, I guess I don't get to drive it now. Oh, damn. <laughs> I guess I don't get to drive it now. Wow. Well, guys, here we go with the try. Hopefully well, she alive. Good. Huh? Put a little Still nitrous in it. All right, no nitrous this time. Here's the choke, though. You might have to pull it out. No nitrous this time. Yeah, no nitrous. And maybe no choke. Ruckus and drag race them, and you use nitrous, and, and I'll use nitrous because hers will go faster. But I think this thing will might accelerate a little faster. It makes it sound cooler, but that's not it. Pretty epic. Now we're having trouble on this, and you said you'd like it more if it didn't break down. That's what happens when you try and go high performance on stuff. Should have kept a factory Yamaha, boy, wouldn't be having these problems. I think it might be having to do with that air box, too, bro. Because you know how them little zingers, I'm just going based off of zingers yeah, alone. Because I've ridden those, and they'll ride five minutes and die. What's up, dudes? I appreciate you watching. Lots more to come. Jump up on Time Machine ATV's Instagram. Give us a follow. And uh, I'm going to post a few videos this week. Appreciate you, dudes.